I'm Lucy and this is Trip Hazard and we were finalists on Britain's Got Talent. It all started with my first dog from watching YouTube videos and stuff and getting ideas. And then um, like the flips he does off my hands and stuff, I'd, I'd already seen, I mean I don't know if somebody else invented that, I just think I did. But um, I'd seen people do it off, with their dog off their body and stuff and I thought with a really small dog, you can do it off a much smaller target area, so like teaching him to like flip off my hands and stuff like that. Um, it just all came from him being so small and trying to think about ways I could adapt tricks for a dog so small really. The easiest tricks for them to be able to pick up is usually a spin or a twist, so when they turn in a circle. And it's quite, an, I know it's quite basic, but it's quite a nice little move for when you're dancing with your dog, I suppose. And then weaving in and out of your legs maybe. Um, but yeah, the key is just finding whatever your dog really loves and using that as a reward, because you, you shouldn't sort of force them to do it or push them around or anything like that. Otherwise, you, you'll be able to tell in the way your dog does things that they're not happy. And, you want them to be really fast like you and enthusiastic. <laughs> oh, it's hard because I'm a dog trainer so probably when I did it with my first dog it took me ages but now it's kind of second nature so it's quite quick um, but yeah it's, it's sort of as long as you get it right and you add the word to the behaviour because some people kind of like would be saying spin 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 and the dog's not doing it and blah 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 and it can take so long but um, yeah if you know what you're doing it can be quite quick can it? <laughs> One of Lucy's favourite parts about performing with Trip is getting the audience involved and teaching dog owners that it's never too late to create that strong bond with your pup. It makes me so happy and it makes me happier as well if they then think about having a little go at having some fun with their dog as well and because it only improves your bond as long as you use their favourite things and use kind methods. It's just so good for your relationship. It's sort of like so many people have trouble with letting their dogs off the lead and them not coming back when called. but. If you teach all these tricks and spend, invest that time in your relationship with your dog, you don't have a dog that wants to leave you, so it's lovely.